Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Today I'm going to be going through the differences between GoPro Superphoto and RAW image features on the GoPro 10 and 11. So I've took this out in the real world and took a few photos just to get a bit of a review to see if the Superphoto actually works or is RAW image the way to go. Um, so just to get started, what I'll, what I've put up is a is a description of what Superphoto is. So Superphoto gives you the best photos automatically. So the idea behind it is you hit the take a photo button, the AI in the camera um, picks the best scenario for the best picture at that time. So it analyzes the scene and applies the best imaging processing for the shot. So it's enabled by, if you increase the camera's memory to the, oh, two gigabytes and over, which is easily done. Um, so this explanation is from the GoPro community. So if you just go to gopro.com and go on the support, this is the explanation GoPro actually give for you. So depending on the lighting, the movement in your shot and other conditions, Superphoto will choose one of four options, either high dynamic range, local tone mapping, multi-frame noise reduction, or no processing at all. The raw image is the best for that shot. So I took this out into the real world in a scenario a few scenarios where i would uh, t rather take a picture with my gopro than uh, my phone so for example on a hike when it's raining all these all these examples have been on cloudy rainy days i do live in england so that's the few and far there's quite a few of them so just for my first example i think it's just on a walk on a park near where i live um, and as you can see the difference between the raw photo and the super photo. So the raw photo, um, the lighting um, to me seems better. And also the trees seem sharper and the lighting around the trees seems sharper. But the super photo, I think has tried to um, make, pick up the detail as much as possible in the trees. And uh, with the bad lighting, because it was obviously a cloudy day. But if you look, the super photo seems to, in the forefront of the image, get all the detail in the leaves. Um, but the raw photo seems to get the the trees sharper uh, further away in the background of the image. So it sort of depends what you're after. You can see a little raindrop there as well. But either, for what I'd want, I'd probably say the raw photo in that scenario is better. But the super photo still does a job, and it still looks like a, a really good photo. But for my for, for this first scenario of just walking through a, a park on a cloudy day, to me the raw photo seems to have the best detail in it. So then there's just a stream near me. Same again, the super photo I think takes a better um, photo in this scenario. It's a lot sharper. If you look at the foliage in the background, that's a lot better. Um, the stream, because it's moving, doesn't um, doesn't look quite as good as on the raw photo. But all in all, I think the super photos took a better image there. If you look at the overall detail, the lighting, uh, and how it's took a picture of the movement as well. Uh, same again, just further downstream. Um, I think this is a scenario where super photos not applied any processing. Um, so it's just for the raw photo is the best. So I've took, I've used both features here and I can't actually see much difference in the photos. Um, so this is a scenario where the, the camera's actually going, you know what, the raw photo is the best. So super foot, the super photo function has gone. I know the raw photo is the best. And then I took a raw photo after and same again, there's very little difference between them apart from I've slightly moved. But for a cloudy, rainy day, this is still a really good photo. Don't forget, all these have been taken in really poor, bad lighting. And, yeah, they seem to, it seems to still do a good job. So this is just a sunset near, near where I live as well. Um, sorry, sunrise, not sunset. Um, I tried not to move best I can. Um same again, I can't see a lot of difference in these images. The only thing with the raw photo is I think, same again, the detailing on the foliage further away seems a little better, but there isn't much difference. So I, I, 
either in this scenario seems like the best um the best for if you were taking a picture of the sunrise in the morning uh, so this is on a walk in the peak district a couple of miles away from where i live the raw photo and the super photo so if you look at the um the hill on the back over the over the reservoir there's a lot more detail in the super photo the clouds even though you're not really bothered about the clouds the clouds look a little better as well and then if you look here um, on the front foliage or front grass in the foreground of the image this here looks a lot sharper better more the colors better and more vibrant than on the raw photo so overall i i feel like the super photo is the better photo and then the last one sim this is where super photo for me has done its job because if you look at the raw photo it's not very sharp um there's a lot of color different color textures and it seems to have processed it really well if you look and i know you can barely see the difference between the photos but if you look here and around the trees and even in the water it's a lot sharper and a lot crisper so just to go back to the, my first example oops, i feel like the super photos done a slightly better photo overall of getting capturing a better image whereas the raw photos just done a better job with the foliage at the back so to me the super photo showing the the river movement and how it's for how it's um changed the detail around the edges because if for me if you you can see it most uh the foliage at the back there and there it's that it's quite blurry it's a lot sharp and the colors and textures are a lot better in the super photo and for me there's been no difference between them two overall i think super photo is the way to go it it, it processes pictures really well nine times out of ten it's better than the actual raw image i've not found a scenario where there's a massive difference uh, i hope you have fun shooting and i hope you find some good pictures uh with your gopro um, if you do find this video helpful, please do subscribe to my channel. Um, there'll be more videos to come and thanks for watching.